Last year, on Halloween night, my friends and I went to a big party in Midtown. We were three girls, and one of my friends ran into another group of, friend, of people she knew at the party. After she said hi to them, I tapped her on the shoulder and whispered to her, introduce me to your friend's friend. He's so cute. She replied, let me just introduce you to all of them. I went around saying hello, and at the end of the semicircle was the cutie I had my eyes on. I approached him to introduce myself and expected him to do the same. But that would have been too easy. So this is exactly how it went. Hi, my name is Leah. What's your name? He replied, oh, what do you want it to be? And instead of being creative or just coming up with a name to keep up with the flirting game, I blanked. Mind you, I could have come up with any name in the world, but oh no, I just stood there, speechless. I had no idea what to say, really. So instead, I replied, ugh, you're boring. And just like that, he walked away. And that's when I realized, oh my gosh, I suck at flirting. Now fast forward a few months. Keep in mind that my flirting game had not gotten any better. As a matter of fact, I think it's, I thought it had gotten worse. I found myself accidentally insulting them, spilling drinks, food on them, and having nothing interesting to say, despite knowing that that just wasn't true. Regardless of how much I wanted to say, I can never find the words to do so. This past January, I decided to go out on a Saturday night with my friend Eduardo. It was just us two, and on the way there, the topic of flirting came up. And during the car ride, we talked about what makes someone a good flirt and a bad flirt. I told Eduardo the story of that I just told all of you of that Halloween night when I realized I was a terrible flirt hoping that he would comfort me and reassure me that I wasn't as bad as I thought, he turned to me and said, oh yeah, we all noticed, you suck. But it's okay, you're an amazing dancer. And in that moment, I didn't understand what dancing had to do with it, really. So I disregarded his compliment completely. And rather than being complacent with this unfortunate realization, I looked at him and said, you know what? Tonight, I'm gonna practice flirting and I'm gonna find my game. So practice I did. That Saturday night, I alternated between trying to engage with Ray Banter, which we all know was not my forte, and taking my subjects onto the dance floor to dance. It was that night that I realized that flirting is far more than just what you say. In fact, I noticed people barely pay attention to what was being said during those initial moments of meeting. Flirting, therefore, is not a trivial activity and it requires much more than what meets the eye. Creativity, or how creative you are in your language and, and topic of conversation, has often been the defining factor in what makes a good flirt. Pickup lines either make it or break it, but there's so much more involved. Body language, the process of communicating non-verbally through conscious and unconscious gestures and movements, is just as important, if not more so. Understanding that there's more to flirting than verbal language and pickup lines helped me reframe my approach to it. During my mini experiment that Saturday night, I found that dancing was far more successful for me than talking. And that's when it clicked. I am myself the most when I'm dancing. For those of you who know me, you know that I love to dance, and it's always been an important part of my life for the past 15 years now. It is something that I've always gravitated toward, so it only makes sense that dancing would be my window into becoming a great flirt. So why not stick to what you know? I am the most confident version of myself when I'm dancing, which means that if I want to flirt with someone, I just need to find a way to get them onto the dance floor. Through the language of dance, I found that I was able to say all the interesting things I couldn't use words to express. I was finally able to show people who I was. It is with my body language that I let people know, hey, I'm a bite, I'm approachable. Body language reveals so much more, reveals how available, attractive, enthusiastic, and even sometimes how desperate we are. But the core principle of body language in flirting 
is learning how to be confident and natural in your own skin. It is with my body language that I was able to create social connections and more importantly, build confidence. I had labeled myself as a terrible flirt because I had never thought of it as anything more than just clever chit chat. Redefining flirting for me meant placing value on body language above all else. I realized that dancing is my way of connecting with people. It allows my body and mind to flow naturally with the music. I don't need verbal language after all. I just, all I need is to feel and express myself physically. The doors of spontaneity and creativity open when I dance. Dancing for me is flirty. Regardless whether or not, or not dancing is your thing, the most valuable lesson I learned, and what I want to reinforce here, is that it all starts and ends with confidence. Flirting is just a game that you have full control over. It just matters how you want to play. Thank you.